I can type in anything here. Hello, my friends. And that's going to convert it to uh, speech. Let's see. Hello, my friends. In our last video, I explored language understanding with Azure AI Text Analytics Service. I also did a demo on the language detection feature in Azure AI Text Service, where the app was able to detect the input language. If you haven't checked that out yet, make sure to give it a watch. It will set the stage for what we're about to do today. In this tutorial, we are taking it a step further and moving into the world of speech synthesis with Azure Text-to-Speech Service. By the end of this video, you will know how to convert text into natural sounding speech using Azure's powerful tool. Quick recap to crave your indulgence on this one. Azure Text-to-Speech Service is a cloud-based service that converts text into real speech. It supports multiple languages and voices, allowing you to customize the output that fits your need. Whether you are building an accessibility feature an interactive voice response IVR system, or just adding voice to your application to make it a cute cool feature, Azure Text-to-Speech Service has got you covered. Let's dive into the code base, get our hands dirty a little bit, and see how this works in real scenario. Let's go. I'm on my Azure portal now, and I, uh, of course, select my resource group and click on create a resource. So it brought me to the marketplace. In the marketplace, I'll just click on cognitive service. Or uh, in the cognitive service here, Select the cognitive service. Then I'll look for speech so I can see the speech here. Now I'll just click on create speech. So when I click on create speech, it's gonna pop out with the uh, portal for me to select, you know, the resource group, the subscription and all that details. So I just leave the ones I have there as a default. You can also create a new subscription group here. I'm gonna name my speech service um, speech one, two, three, four. Okay, that'll be the name of the speech service. Uh, okay, that's not available. I just Put it as speech service one two three four. Let's see if that is available. All right, looks like that is available. Good. Then it's here. I will select our um, standard S zero. I just go ahead and click create. All right. So we're gonna wait for that to scaffold, verify that, then go ahead and confirm the creation of the speech service. And it's deploying. Deployment is complete. Uh, then I'll go to resources and in the resources uh, you can see the resource management here the keys and endpoints so here um, I'm going to select my endpoints here and put it in my Azure I mean in my Visual Studio and then the region also is a very important part if you look at this uh, URL here the region is added to the to the endpoint so that's something that's very useful in the speech service and then I'll go ahead and copy that in my app settings the JSON file that will be used in my code. I'm just gonna go ahead and save the time from writing the code. I already wrote the code, so I'll go ahead and explain what all of that does. So pretty much what I did was um, created, I created a new controller here um, uh, that I have here on this side, because it's Solution Explorer. Text-to-speech controller is here. So in the text-to-speech controller, of course, I have my um, constructor here where I'm injecting the eye configuration objects. So I'm using the eye configuration object to actually pull my um, credentials from the app settings.json file where I have my speech service region and then I have my Azure AI speech service key. So remember when I created that in the Azure portal, I pulled that from the Azure portal. I pulled this um, service key and then the region. So pretty much that's that. I'm just calling that here, registering it here. And then moving on to the next code, I'm creating the um, uh, speech synthesizer uh, method, uh, object rather, uh, just to use that to speak whatever text that the user has entered. So the speech synthesizer is, a, is, is an inbuilt library with the C-sharp um, technology. So you can type in anything and then C-sharp will speak it out. You also have the option to select, you know, the kind of language uh, voice you want. If it's a female, male, robot, giant. So there's all options to that, but that's not what this is about. I'm selecting the neutral uh, female voice. And then um, I'm grabbing whatever text the user has entered here and then giving that to the speech synthesizer using the speech config object, right? And then the speech synthesizer will speak it out. So I'm um, here, what I'm just doing here is just checking if the result is successful, like if the synthesizing audio is completed, then go ahead and display that to the view. Uh, but before I display it to the view, you know, I have to convert it to a byte type. Uh, so I'm reading the audio data into memory stream here and then I'm converting the memory stream into byte array and now convert that byte array into base64 string because that is what we can, you know, spit out on the UI. 
So pretty much that's what I'm doing here. It's as simple as ABC, uh, but um, you can just you know uh, go through this code. I'm gonna put a copy of this code on my GitHub account, and then you can actually go through it. And it's really interesting. There's a lot you can do with Azure AI Script Services. And now if I'm going to run the code now, uh, I'm gonna uh, pull up the application now, and then here, boom. So here we have the text to speech service. I can type in anything here. Hello, my friends. And that's going to convert it to uh, speech. Let's see. Hello, my friends. Pretty interesting. So that's pretty much what we are doing here. And that's it. You successfully integrated Azure text to speech into your application. Now you can turn any text into speech, making your application more interactive and accessible. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Drop any question you have in the comment below and I'll be happy to help.